Travelling by one beats public transport. Here I am at Marina Bay Sands and I'm very excited because I'm catching the Singapore premiere of a Broadway musical, the hit Broadway musical. You might know what I'm talking about. We're going to go behind the scenes to see the splendour of the story. We're going to talk to the cast. Come with me. What is this feeling so sudden and new? I felt the moment I laid eyes on you. My pulse is rushing. My head is reeling. <laughs> My face is flushing. What is this feeling burning as a flame? passion ever since I was three I think I started dancing um, and ha having singing lessons and doing acting classes um, I didn't actually do a degree in music um, Lucy uh, not Lucy sorry Susie went to WAPA and um, so she did a three-year course which was pretty in intensive I didn't actually get to do that but um, I was working as a beauty therapist <laughs> of all things so I actually wasn't ever thinking I would be in such a position like this but I was singing in a band and, and doing amateur theatre and so I've done it a, a different way than most people um, so I guess what I would say for inspirational words is just to keep going it's obviously a passion and you know you need to work hard at it and so I had to work and and do the amateur theatre stuff at the same time so it's definitely a difficult path but to give it a try and to keep going and um, you know you're not going to get every role that you audition for so yeah so if you just keep going then um, hopefully you know you land something as magical as this and practice. <laughs> it's all about practice. Um, I, as Gemma said, I studied for three years um, at the West Australian Academy of Performing Arts, um, which is not unlike LaSalle Performing Arts School here in Singapore. Um, and it's an intensive course and you are, um, it's all you do. It, you, it consumes your life for three years and then when you come out, you know, you're in the big bad world all on your own without your teachers and everything. But, you know, the, the main thing is, is to keep going. Keep going to lessons, keep practicing and, and don't let it slide. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully it'll be somewhere like this. <laughs> uh, basically, um, I should tell you, my, uh, my background uh, is, um, when I was a younger man, uh, classical ballet. Uh, which, that, that's, that's Not little, true. That's a little bit. <laughs> I basically come, my body will tell you that I'm lying. Um, I come from a background mainly of radio and television. And strangely enough, that's helped me in theatre too. Uh, in radio, you had to paint a picture uh, without anyone actually seeing the picture. It was all done with your voice. And then in television, the, the voice was matched by your appearance. And all of the things that I did on television were not characters, they were me, just me being me which a lot of theatrical performers coming into television in the early years found it very difficult because they, they played everybody except themselves. And I didn't do a, I did a little bit of vaudeville back in the 50s, but I haven't done uh, very much theatre until the last uh, maybe 12, 13 years. Uh, and what I've discovered, what I learn from theatre is watching people like Gemma and Susie and the rest of the, the wonderful cast, including the ensemble, being able to play somebody that is not themselves. And apart from anything else, I was always a huge musical comedy fan, or musical theatre as it's known now. And I, I saw every show that came to my hometown of Melbourne uh, from the age of nine. I had a late sister who was uh, so interested in theatre, and from that early age, I. I, I love theatre, and then later in, uh, in life, uh, being able to be part of it and learn even more, strangely enough, from younger performers, because there aren't too many performers around older than me to learn from anymore, uh, it's been the most wonderful experience, topped off by this 
fantastic show. It is a beautiful show. Popular. Ah, you're going to be popular. I'll teach you the proper ploys when you talk to boys. Little ways to flirt and watch. Woo! I'll show you what shoes to wear, how to fix your hair. Everything that really counts to be popular. Woo! I'll help you be popular. You'll hang with the right cohorts. You'll be good at sports. Know the slang you've got to know. So let's start, because you've got an awful dancing at the same time. I'm lucky enough I don't have to do too much of that. Um, but I just think, you know, you need to be physically fit as a, as a person. So I think that, you know, if you are exercising and, and keeping fit that way and out from work, it's going to make your job easier when you actually have to sing and dance together. But also that's why we have such rehearsals and, and things like that, because you need to build up a, what we call a show fitness. So that's kind of what you build up. You build up that stamina. So when we're doing um, Tech Week, everyone's building up their stamina so they're able to sing and dance at the same time. So, yeah, I'd say that um, with, you know, with Popular, a month ago when I started doing it in Melbourne after having a wonderful holiday and getting to explore different parts of Asia on my holiday, um, I came back and was exhausted after the first time I did it. And now, you know, it, it's a lot easier. You, as Gemma said, your, your body gets used to it and you get very show fit. I'm always trying to fix things that, you know, might be a little bit difficult for me and so I feel like I'm constantly being challenged even though I have done it for a long time plus I honestly love playing this character. So that's kind of my analysis of, of it all um, because I, I honestly don't think if I was doing any other show I could do it for this long but I just think that this show is so wonderful that I can just keep going. <laughs> the best thing about live theatre is that every night we have a brand new bunch of faces watching us up here that bring with them their stories and, and, and their smiles and, and it, it changes the way that we perform every night which is such a great thing. shared a dressing room um, way back in 2008 in our you know when we first started yeah. with the show so it's been so a great journey for both of us yeah, together we've known each other for a long time yeah. really yeah we, um, we first met in the audition process and we it was a callback I think it was like our seventh callback or something like that and um, we had to dance we had to dance and the two of us were in the thing going oh Trying I've learned it before have you learned it before okay, let, we were helping each other and that's how we met um, and so yeah it's been it's a very different friendship now where yeah, we know each other yeah. a lot better yeah. <laughs> Um, I had I actually worked in Japan for a year so I I left my family at that point I think I was I just turned 21 and I did find that very difficult but I feel that this time round I'm, I'm sort of used to what it's you know involved and we have Skype nowadays and yeah. it's so much easier to communicate with your family and and I think that being part of such a, a big a massive show that you kind of don't feel as homesick you kind of feel really happy with what you're doing and really content with the job that you're doing so I think that it kind of it, it actually goes hand in hand with feeling positive yeah. about it and you know so that's that's how I, that's how I feel about well, it. Well I mean the people that we work with there's um you know as I was saying we've got 77 touring and we really do become a big family the wicked family um, we spend eight shows a week with each other and spend so much time hanging out and then you know live next door to each other and um, it, it becomes like your second family um, which really does take the pressure off from missing I mean I said bye to my mum and dad this morning yeah. um, you know saying oh I'll see you however many months not quite <laughs> sure um, you know and it can be hard but as Jem said with, with Skype and, and everything like that it does make it a lot easier 
We haven't seen a lot. Oh, yes. No, not heaps. But um, um, we both live across the road from La Passat, which is <laughs> awesome. Oh. <laughs> um, I had some amazing it. satay last week. <laughs> um, <laughs> the satay sticks. Yes. Yeah, oh, they're so yeah, good. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, yesterday um, I went and had high tea with my parents at the Fullerton Hotel, which was just beautiful. Um, but I'm looking forward to you know going to Sentosa, and my yeah. dad has been looking things up and ripping things out of tourist um, brochures and, stuff, and leaving them in my apartment saying you have to see this and you have to see this. So we've got a whole stack of places to see. Um, yeah. yeah, I can't wait to do that. Yeah, we've got time to do which is nice. Yeah, That's the best thing about touring. You get to you know stay in one place for a couple of months and, and really get to know the country or, or the city. We haven't had anything touch wood um, happen yet so far in Singapore, but there are always, you know, it's live theatre, so things do happen sometimes. I've gotten my dress caught, I've tripped over a couple times because my Wicked Witch dress is quite long and quite heavy, and um, so things like that have happened where the audience have actually laughed at me, um, so I've had to laugh as well because it's quite embarrassing. Um, but things like that sort of happen, and it keeps it fresh and keeps it interesting, but um, touch wood, nothing's happened so far yet. <laughs> I think that um, I learnt singing it so much. I, I sang it over and over and over again until I had it quite comfortable in my vocal range. And then uh, basically the, the bit that I actually found quite interesting was singing with my feet together. Because I'm in, because I'm flying, my feet have to stay together like this. So normally I'm sort of feeling a little bit more comfortable and singing these notes, but actually singing with my feet together was actually a bit of a shock. Everything. It changes yeah. everything. <laughs> so yeah. The same in the bubble. Yeah, yeah, with the exact same thing. So those yeah. little things can sometimes um, be quite challenging, but you know, it's the same thing. You do the show and, and you figure it out and then it feels comfortable. So. Yeah. I actually still love green. When I got married, I had my bridesmaids in green. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but I did. <laughs> it was an apple green, not as um, you know, green as this. But um, but yeah, so I'm my face, my my neck and my chest is green and my ears obviously are green and my hands to about here and then I wear a body stocking. So for the scene that you guys would have seen in Popular, that was actually a body stocking. So I'm not completely covered in green. <laughs>